Today, I'm at my local gas station filling up my car, which is something that most people do very regularly. But I've always wondered, at the point of me inserting my card, it always tells me to remove my card quickly. Well, today let's see what happens if we don't. Life is full of rules. Small or big, they impact almost every part of our lives. Together, let's see what happens when we break the small everyday rules. In order to test this, I'm gonna to go to 10 different gas stations and remove my card quickly as it tells me to and remove it slowly and we'll see whether or not how fast you pull your credit card actually affects whether or not your credit card gets charged or not. So after going to 10 different gas stations, the results are in and they're exactly what I thought were going to happen. Out of 10 gas stations, nine of them worked when I pulled my credit card out fast and only five of them worked when I pulled out slowly. Of those five, two of the gas stations looked like they were using chip readers and so it would read the credit card no matter how slow or fast I pulled the card out. With the other three, what I think happened is that I pulled out the card just fast enough for them to read it. Because when I went back to those three gas stations and pulled out my card just a little bit slower, none of them were able to read the credit card. So at this point, you might be wondering, why does the speed at which I pull my credit card out actually matter whether or not it gets charged or not? Well, what's happening is on this black magnetic strip, there's these tiny magnetic bars that are about 120 millionths of an inch. Then they're aligned with their north and south poles on differently. And this allows for information to be stored on this strip. And when it is passed through a reader, it creates an electronic current that will send the information stored on this black strip to the gas station or store that you're, you're swiping your credit card. If you pull it out too slowly, there's not a sufficient electronic current to convey that information. And so it has to be done with a sufficient speed to do that.